Court will be adjourned until 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. Judge Carlton Levy, I need to speak to Mr. Brown. Judge Levy, so nice to hear from you again. Cut the crap. When we met, you said you would get back to me. You said you would tell me how to handle this information. Yes, well, uh, we've been busy. There seemed to be even more of them out there than we feared. So it's true. I knew it. Tell me again what you know about them, Judge. Tell me what you know about the aliens. Train 92, Century 8. The mighty shall be laid low, impaled on the fine honed sword of truth. A voice of justice is stilled as nightmares take earthly form. Judge Carlton Levy was a respected district court judge for 23 years, a true voice of justice, before his sudden insanity laid him low. The judge had been a regular visitor to Eddie's Paranoid Times website, claiming to have information about the aliens who've infiltrated this planet. Is the judge really mentally ill? Or do his nightmares take the earthly form of the Gua? May I help you? I'm Lucas Johnson, Associate Director of Human Resources down at the court. I'm real sorry to bother you at home like this. But I have some forms regarding the judge's continuing medical coverage. I was told that the details of my husband's treatment were to remain private. And they have. I'm, I'm just here to make sure Uncle Sam pays for it. Yes, well, if you'll leave me the forms, I'll see that it's taken care of. I really should go through this personally with your husband, ma'am. I'm afraid that's not possible. Now, if you'll excuse me. I need to speak to Judge Levy, as a friend. I don't know who you are or what you really want, but if you don't leave now, I'm calling the police. Did he ever talk to you about aliens? How did you know? He talked to a friend of mine, and that friend of mine believed him. I believe him, because it's true, they're here. I was told he was ill, desperately ill. Who told you that, Miss Levy? Talk to me, please. Let me help your husband. District court judge steps down for health reasons? Health reasons. It's cute. Maybe they ought to get some better spin doctors. Maybe. But our source at Justice said that Levy just snapped. Snapped? Is that a technical term? Who's your source, Sigmund Freud? The guy had psychotic episodes, Eddie. Why is that so hard to believe? Because I talked to him online. I got to know the man, Jordan. He's as sane as I am. Okay, maybe saner. Look, he knows stuff. Stuff the Gua doesn't want getting out, especially coming from a federal judge. <laughs> nice thread. Hey, thanks. So you talked to the guy? No, but I talked to his wife. Seems some government-approved shrink signed him into a place called Shady Crest. A mental hospital? Uh, 
We need to get him out of there. Now. Uh-oh. Place is locked down. High security. Even his wife can't visit him for the first 30 days. Only we'll have to go in undercover. Send Foster into a facility run by the government, the GWA, or both? I'm not talking about Foster. I'm talking about me. Eddie, this is a field operation. You think I don't know that? Like I haven't put my ass on the line? Hey, Eddie, this is different. We, we don't know what the hell's going on in there. Levy's been compiling evidence of GWA infiltration all the way to the Justice Department. I convinced him to use his influence to expose them. I should be the one to get him out. No way. Way too risky. Besides, you're too valuable here. Judge Levy's a believer, and if he hadn't trusted me, he might never have been in that place. I have to get him out. You can't do this to me! Do you know who I am? I know who I am! Someone important, someone who knows people! They're gonna come get you, big boy! No freaking way, man! They're gonna come after me in kablooey! We're gonna waste every one of you brain-sucking, baby-eating, trailer trash abducted alien scum bastards! Whatever we hear, this guy's a manager of some big scientific project. Tried to take over the post office downtown. Said it was run by aliens. Who's that? My name is Dr. Zahn. I run this facility. Hey, Doc, we gotta talk. It's all a mistake. The big misunderstanding. I'm sure it is, Mr. LaRue. But the important thing right now is for you to relax. Wait, you gotta listen to me. I got issues. I should never have come here. Don't worry. I'll take good care of you. Hey, man, I don't need that. Listen, I really don't. Please. For those of you who need reminding, it is not appropriate to expose yourself out on the yard. I was hot. On account of she's an alien. You know the rules, Mary. If it happens again, your privileges will be revoked. Before we finish, I'd like to introduce our newest guest here. Eddie LaRue. I expect you all to make him feel comfortable. you said about aliens are you one of them you tell me you're cute must be the uniform she thinks everybody's cute when I kind of she's an alien Listen, there's this guy I worked with supposed to be in here. Maybe you can help me find him. He got a name? E Eddie? Out in the world, he's Carlton Levy, a judge. The old guy. Not cute. I gotta talk to him. Judge Levy? I know you don't recognize the face, but I'm Eddie Nambulus. You visited my website, Paranoid Times. We talked, remember? Look, I'm one of the good guys. I came in here to get you out. Help you tell what you know. I, I can't. Why? What did they do to you? Look, you gotta talk to me, man. Let me help you. No! What the hell were you doing to him? Helping him build his self-esteem by letting him choke me to death. What does it look like I was doing? I'm gonna keep a close eye on you, pal. First rule, don't screw with the other patients.
got a pass key from Coogan. On account of he's an alien, they'll do anything for you if you have sex with them. Do you mind? I'm no alien. I just think you're really cute. What are you doing?
Eddie? You expecting someone else? <sighs> Believe it or not, I was worried about you. You all right? No, I'm maintaining, which is more than I can say for the judge. We gotta get him out of there. Look, I got it covered, Mom. Just relax. Bingo. Look, I want to download some files, find out who these people are in here. Everything booted up? Looks like it. What about the judge? Somebody's gotten to him. I'm sure of that now. My gut tells me it's the go on. They, uh... They, uh... Look, Foster, I, I, I'm gonna call you back. Crazy Exactly how was he going to get Levy out of there? He didn't say. All I said was he had it covered. Foster, this is Eddie we're talking about. I say we go in there and we take him out. No, we, we bust in there and now and we stop any chance he has of succeeding. Eddie's a genius, not a soldier. I don't like him out there without backup. Come on, Foster. You really believe Eddie can pull this off? Eddie believes it. I have to trust that. Okay. Fine. Let's check out those files he uploaded. It's like a list of patient records. Ronell Cummings. Douglas Moss. Any of those names sound familiar? Cummings is an astrophysicist. The Radcliffe Foundation gave her a research grant a few years back. Starting an army isn't the only thing I've done with my time. A federal judge? A world-respected scientist? Not exactly a run-of-the-mill crazies. Well, if the judge has information on the Guam, maybe the others do as well. We have to find out. Foster, if Eddie doesn't call back in a few hours, I then, say... Then we go in and we get him out. But first, we give him a chance to do it his way. I thought you were going to be one of the easy ones, Eddie. It seems you're more disturbed than we thought. What are you doing, Ray? Trying to help you. I've been stabbed by letting them go. Can have you running around loose? I don't think so. What we're looking for here, Eddie, is a partnership. If we're truly going to help you, you're going to have to want our help. Say it, Eddie. Say you want me to help you. Got it all. Thanks, Terry. Anything on Douglas Moss? Computer mogul. Brilliant. Highly respected. Until one day they found him underneath his desk, screaming, trying to gouge his eyes out. Sounds unpleasantly familiar. What about the astrophysicist, Renell Cummings? Brilliant career. She had the ear of the top people at NASA. And now they're both inmates at Shady Crest. When did she have her breakdown? Two months before she was supposed to publish that paper. Apparently, she was sharing information with a government agency called Project Blacklight. You ever heard of it? No. But I bet you some of the patients on that list might have. Exactly good for my footwork. You're doing fine. Better than most I've seen. Why are you in here? If you don't mind my asking. You try to kill yourself enough times, people start to think you're crazy. Imagine that. Why would you want to kill yourself? I mean, you're so beautiful. Have you seen the world out there? All that hate, 
cruelty? There was a time when it just seemed easier to die. No. Things are looking up. I heard you got busted last night. Yeah. But maybe we shouldn't talk about it. Mm, you're right. We don't have to talk at all. Oh, Mary. Can I take a rain check? trying to freak you out. I just think I know what you're going through. Through, 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 through. They, 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 Dance? What? Most of the people have no ear for the music on account of the aliens. Get off me, man! Okay, let's get some fresh air. Playtime's over. I know a place in the yard where we can be alone. Actually, I'm not feeling so good, Mary. That's when they take you away with the others. Others? What others? You tell me. Let's go now. Something's wrong with me. Hey! Hey! Where do you think you're going? Okay. Oh. Take this guy back to his bed. I hope he's okay. Thanks, man. I know I shouldn't have that chip beef for lunch. Hey, Judge, you there? Judge Levy? No, Judge. We could have made it. Those alien sons of bitches are gonna pay for it. 
join me. Join me, Eddie. Join me. It's not real. It's not real. Another patient with the same story. No history of mental illness until one day they have a complete breakdown. It's like a damn epidemic. Yeah, except last time I checked, schizophrenia wasn't contagious. Something's got to tie them together. Put them all at Shady Crest. Project Blacklight. But Rennell's the only patient that we can tie into that name. We don't even have a clue how to contact them. Then we'll find one. You're worried about Eddie? Yeah. Thought you said he was going to be all right? Yeah, I was saying it doesn't make it true. I know. I'm worried about him, too. Behave yourselves now. No pushing. Sorry, man. I tried. Hey! Get these boots back in your work now! It looks like Eddie's feeling better. his meds by three o'clock and then watch him. Ah! What's going on? That Eddie guy who went down the laundry chute. He's trying to escape. We can come out this way. Go. I'll make sure all the exits are covered. You are home, pal. Bring back any memories? Hang on, almost there. Foster, this feels like a long shot. The judge's wife said he never made a call to Project Blacklight. If he contacted them, maybe he did it from here. Nothing. Phone's not even working. Drawers are locked? Not for long. Check the computer. <sighs> Need a password. Bingo. You? 
I'm here to get married, doll. Don't tell me I'm in the wrong place. Actually, yes. Oh, wait till I find that fiancé of mine. Would you mind showing me the way to the marriage office? Well, I, I was... That's so kind of you. Project Blacklight. What do you want me to do? You want me to say I'm crazy? Okay, I'm crazy. Looney Tunes, not soy. You happy now? You're a danger to yourself and others, Eddie. Coogan here thinks you killed the judge. No. No, no, I found him like that. I was trying to help him. What, what, is, what is that? What are you doing? Something I found very effective in cases such as yours. Relax, pal. You won't remember a thing when it's over. Open up. Just so you don't bite off that tongue of yours. How did you get this number? A friend, okay? But if you got a problem with that, I can just... Uh... No, no. I don't have a problem. Mr. Nobody. I'm Mr. Nobody. Nobody to you. For all I know, they're tapping this line waiting to grab me. Who? Who's waiting to grab you? The Gua. The Gua? That's what they call themselves. I know. Because I... Because I just know. I believe you. And you're right. You might be at risk. You need to come in. Let us protect you. I ain't going anywhere till I know it's safe. If we meet, I set the ground rules. We can do that. When and where. crazy. Nobody, I presume. Nathan Brown, Project Blacklight. Who's this? My driver, purely for our protection. Have you told anyone else what you know? Of course not. Are you kidding? They'd say I was crazy. You've done the right thing. I want you to look at something. Do you recognize any of these names? After this, we'll talk where it's comfortable. Let's talk where it's uncomfortable. Kate Foster. Must be your lucky day. Oh, no, no, no. 
No! You're still bleeding? Yeah, go figure. So you're not... You're not aliens! Why are you doing this? I told you, Eddie. We're trying to help you. Put him in the jacket. No, oh, wait, 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 let me explain. There was this needle seat. It went right into my brain. I figured that's what was making me see things. So that even if I thought about aliens, it would make me flip out. I'm sorry we weren't able to help you more. But we will. We will. No, 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 you're not listening to me. That's how they got to the judge. You don't even know what they're doing in your own hospital. You gotta believe me, I'm not crazy. I'm telling you the truth. What is this? What's it got to do with Project Blacklight? Somewhere around here, wasn't it? That won't be necessary. So talk! What's it do? Stimulates intense fear. Hallucinations. A control device that prevents humans from talking about us. And Project Blacklight? Anyone who calls the government about, uh, Aliens. Gets referred to me. But not just anyone, Ryan. Oh, no. Only those with influence, credibility. Why not just kill them? Dead, they'd raise too many questions. However, if they're insane, no one listens. Mm. You neutralize the opposition. It was a necessary development. Because of you, 117. Me? You started to influence people. People who could stand in his way when it happens. Whose way? You mean Mabus? What's his plan? You talk, Dan. Go ahead. Shoot me. No, I don't think so. I got a better idea. Mavis, what do you know about him? I can't, I can't. Talk! How does this connect to Mavis? What's his plan? Get, get away from me! Get away! Get away! First, Agua scared to death. Must have been a hell of a hallucination. Did you check it out? Did you find those ear things? Let's just worry about you, shall we, Eddie? This should help clear things up considerably. We're out of conductive. There's some more in the supply room. I'll get it. Have them ready. Doc's gonna fry your brain, Eddie boy. Just like one of those bug zappers. <laughs> Don't move! Lorenzo, am I an alien? 
No. You're just crazy. I don't get it, Eddie. How'd you know Mary was the alien and not Lorenzo? Ah, Lorenzo never got close enough to plant the needle. Besides, most women who sneak into my bed in the middle of the night have an ulterior motive. Hey, come on, Eddie, don't sell yourself short. But no woman who looks like her would be that hot for me, crazy or otherwise. That's funny. It's not what Jordan says. Really? Jordan said that? Well, you can ask yourself, she's back at the trailer. Well, let's pick her up on the way over. Still got something I gotta do. You sure you wanna do this? No, but I have to. Foster, I really underestimated Eddie. Hmm. So did I. So did the Gua. Too bad we couldn't get our hands on a few thousand of those needles. They would have made a hell of a weapon for our side. Well, at least the patients are back to normal. They can help us tell the truth about the aliens. It's the best weapon we can have. Hi. I'm Eddie Nambulus. Uh -huh. Judge Levy was one of us, a believer. The Gua saw to it that most of the world called him crazy. To those of us who know, he's a martyr. Ever since high school, I've been called crazy. But who's to say what's crazy and what's sane? Not me, and not the Gua either. I know there are more people like Judge Levy, people in high places who are finally starting to listen. I'm not fooling myself, I'm no hero. But maybe it's time to put this crazy Eddie thing behind me. Maybe it's time to give sane Eddie a try. <laughs>